about to make a beautiful apple rose blossom face scrub with you. That's right. We've been having so much fun on this journey of beautifying from the inside out. Oh my goodness, yes. And if you'll notice, we have a real live apple in the studio. Now you'll find the recipes underneath where you're watching. Look right down below. And if you're interested in the kit that we've been using for this, it'll take you over to Aromatics International where the kit or even supplies for each individual event live. Yes. Let's get blending. Let's get blending. So this recipe today is called Apple Rose Blossom Face Scrub. We've done body scrubs, we've done soaks for our body, and this is specifically for our face. And we're using brown sugar because it doesn't have those sharp edges that our salt has. It's very balancing. It's got naturally occurring antioxidants. The apples that we're going to be using in this face scrub it has astringent properties. That brown sugar helps to exfoliate, exfoliate away those dull layers of skin. All right, so one ounce of brown sugar. Now, this doesn't have to be absolutely exact. This is a recipe that works for us. Sometimes you might get a little more of the brown sugar. Just put a little more of the second ingredient, which is our coconut oil. If you get too much coconut oil in, then you just add a little bit more brown sugar. Now to this, we're going to put in a half an ounce or 14 grams. In fact, let's put this to grams now. And let's put in 14 grams of our coconut oil. Isn't that so nice? Whoa. I mean, why not enjoy all these aromas while we're doing our self-care? One ounce. That's part of self-care. Now we're going to add in two drops of our Rose Absolute. So let's go ahead and put our two drops on there. Two and then let's look at the rose. color on top of the coconut. Okay. Let's do it. Two drops of... I'm saving the hardest step for last. Rose Absolute is a little bit darker than our Rose Auto. So Rose Absolute, Absolutes are special. They usually are done with plants like jasmine and some other ones that it takes a lot of flower material to make the essential oil. And so they do an absolute, but they use an, an alcohol base and eventually come out with what I call essential oil in an absolute form. It's called an absolute. Mm -hmm. Now there is Rose Auto essential oil as well. It's a lot pricier. Our perfumists, Love using the Absolute because it has a really beautiful rose aroma. So does the Rose Auto, which is the steam distilled rose, but it's much gentler and much fainter and I love them both for skincare. We're done with our scale, so I'm going to set this off to the side so we have plenty of working room. Yes. And we're going to set our concoction over there and we're going to prepare our apple. Is that an official aromatherapy term, concoction? Yes. yes. So you want to get an apple. Slice a little bit off of our apple. Ooh. Now, not all apples mash easily, which I have discovered. And we only <laughs> need two table, two teaspoons full. So you will prepare your apple by peeling it like this. Now the apple, we want it, we want to cut it really tiny because we're going to mash this. So the more tiny you can cut it, the better. The problem I have is I want to eat this apple. And then you just take your, you want it as fresh as we can get it so that we have all of those natural ingredients that are going right onto our skin. All this natural antioxidants that are in there. We want the astringent properties. And if you cook your apple or use cooked applesauce, you're not gonna get the same benefits. We're getting there. We're getting so there. So just envision that you're putting this on your skin. So you don't want globs of the apple, but you want the apple to blend into the rest of our um, skin healing blossom face scrub. We've got our smashed fresh crisp apple and we have our concoction of two drops Rose Absolute, our brown sugar and coconut oil. This is a tablespoon, so I'm not gonna quite fill it. I'm gonna put that right on there, and then Jenny is just going to start 
making that so that it blends up together. And so I'll Check also here. be using our little tools. And some folks who've made this blend already, which is awesome, are recommending a zester. A zester would work absolutely great as well. It really would. I like that. I, I also um, have used one of those blender, hand blender Emulsifiers. things. Um, I had an apple that I used that we, even when I cooked it, it would not cook down. You had a stubborn apple? So I got a different kind of an apple and I don't really have a special apple um, to use, just one that, that when you would cook it up, it would cook up really well. We're not cooking it, remember, but if we were, that would make a good apple to freshly mash up as well. Whoa! Oh, I know. I wish right? I could send this right on through the camera to your nose because if you like apple, coconut, and rose, this, <laughs> this is a home run. Now, let me give you a little tip. Do you see that, how gorgeous that is? Oh my goodness. Now, this will last, you know, till this evening when you want to use it. Um, I like to make it and then use it right away. It doesn't last till tomorrow overnight because the brown sugar softens up and you'll just have kind of a syrup. So to use this, you simply get your skin moist, get it wet, spray it with a hydrosol, and then you take this Put it in your hand and just start blending it over your face. I'm gonna do a little bit just yeah. in my hand. All right, so. You can do it on the back of your hand too, works really back well. Of, oh, nice. So you feel the exfoliation going on, but it's real gentle. It's really gentle. I'm already feeling the benefits. And what I do is I rub this on, rub it on everywhere, rub it on my throat, my chest, make sure you go up here. Put a, a wide ring around your eyes where you don't go into because we don't like to put the essential oils close to our eyes and neither do I want the sugar close to my eyes or the coconut oil. So just all around and then just let it sit there for, I don't know, five minutes or so and then just wash it off with a warm um, washcloth and you've got some really beautiful soft skin just trying to gracefully get a paper towel i didn't think through the whole process here you don't even have to use any essential oil it's just that i love smelling mm, i got some on my lip mm, that did, was pretty tasty <laughs> was that pretty tasty <laughs> so i love smelling the rose together with the coconut it's so beautiful but our other essential oils are just as beautiful in this concoction um, don't even use any essential oil if you have really sensitive skin or you can use the jasmine and you can also use the, the red mandarin or any mandarin that you might have. Even a sweet orange is fine in this mask. So you can, if you don't like the fruity and the, and the um, florals, then go towards the patchouli and the vetivers. Those are also very skin nourishing mm -hmm. and healing. Also, if you could uh, like and subscribe and give us a heart over, if you're watching over on YouTube, please do. It helps us get the word out because we want to share this approach to aromatherapy with as many people as we can find that's resonating with it out there in the world. Have fun. Oh, I just want with your face scrub. These are ingredients that you have right in your kitchen. So have fun doing it. All right, bye for now.